be a receiver and you know speak on the on the speaker box. Which you might have so, seen. So yeah, you might have seen it on YouTube with a bunch of comments saying, "Oh my God, there's no fucking way they could do this. What a fucking lie! It's photoshopped." Things like that. <laughs> you know, photoshopped the sound. You know, the pixels. It's like I've I've seen these before. Yeah, I can see the pixelation. So. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, that's what's been going on. It, was, it had been around for about three years. It made the YouTube rounds about 16 times and, you know, 16 people saying, what kind of radio can I do to this? Uh, April Fool's Brad made this, ra made this video, so uh, press play now. Now. Press now. play. Press it. Fire that son of a bitch up. I like tacos. I like tacos. I like tacos. I like tacos. This is part of the prank because we don't really love tacos. I like tacos. I like tacos. Back in 2003, we made this video that showed us screwing with uh, Taco Bell's drive through frequencies. After we'd already been messing with them for a few weeks, we decided to go through the drive through ourselves with a camera and film the manager's reaction while Roger 5 and Isotech messed with my order. Uh, sir, you have to actually order food here. We don't just sell drinks. I'm sorry. We're not going to be able to place your order. Oh, uh, I can't back. This video was featured on FARC, DIG, CollegeHumor.com, and several other sites, and it's caused a pretty constant flow of email to me over the past four or so years of people asking me how to do it. So this video is going to show you how to easily take over the drive through frequencies of pretty much any fast food joint in your town. Hey, why don't you come here and talk to me like that, alright? So, no, somebody's cutting into our... Somebody's cutting into our person and saying, you can order whatever you want, you just want to drink it, oh. fine. Okay. If somebody messing with it. Now, in our video, the radio that Roger 5 is holding is called a Yesu VX7, and that's what we use to take over the top of our frequencies. The only problem with using a Yesu is the price. Uh, the cheapest you're going to find one is probably $250. Then you have to modify it. And most people just aren't comfortable opening up a $250 piece of equipment. So I'm going to show you an easier and cheaper way of doing this. To get started with this, you only need two things. One is a CB radio. It has to be a digital CB radio that has the digital number display on it. The second thing you need is called a 6.5536 megahertz crystal. I don't know what, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the CB radio and we're going to pull out the existing crystal inside of it. All digital CB radios use the same frequency of crystal inside, which is a 1.73 megahertz crystal. We're going to replace that crystal with our 6.5536 megahertz crystal. Replacing the crystal inside will actually triple the frequencies, and it just happens to put CB radios in the range that drive through restaurants broadcast on. It reverses the polarity, too. <laughs> Finding a CB radio should be fairly simple. Some of you might have some sitting around in your basement or garage, or you can visit the world and have a for kind of there for probably less than 10 bucks. If all else fails, go to a truck stop or an auto pet store or even a Tiger or a and you should be able to find one there for maybe 50 or 60 bucks. Considering the amount of fun you're going to have with it, it's not a big investment. Kinko's is good too. Obtaining a crystal that's 6.5536 megahertz is slightly more complicated. There's really no way you can buy these crystals from, so you have to take them out of a device that uses them already. <laughs> and luckily, there's several household devices that use these kind of crystals. The most common one that you can find one in is a toaster. Pretty much any toaster manufactured after the mid-1980s will have one of these crystals inside of them attached to the toaster's circuit board. Using a soldering iron and a pair of pliers, you should easily be able to pull it out of there. For this project, I'm going to be using a walkie-talkie CB radio. It's a realistic TRC-207 from Radio Shack. And I'm going to open up this toaster to get the crystal out of. Now, the first thing you want to remember before taking your toaster apart is to unplug it from the wall. If you try and take it apart while it's plugged in, you are a retard. It shouldn't be too hard to figure out how to take the toaster apart. Just turn it over, look for some screws, and start taking them out. You'll also want to pull off the rubber and knobs, if possible, before taking the top off. Always. It won't matter what brand of toaster you have. All toasters manufactured after the 1980s have this crystal inside of them. They're used as a safety precaution and to control the frequency of the heating coils inside the toaster. <laughs> you can also find these crystals in any household appliance that has heating coils, such as a hair dryer, a heater, a curling iron, and even in your electric stove. <laughs> Once you take the top off, you should be able to see a circuit board inside. <laughs> and behind the circuit board, you will find your crystal. Oh my God. <laughs>
Use your soldering iron to heat up the connections underneath the crystal while pulling it out with a pair of tires. <laughs> this is very, very basic stuff, people. <laughs> your toaster might still work without the crystal inside of it, but it's not recommended since that is a safety device. Your bread will taste Taking awful. the CB radio apart should be just as easy as taking apart the toaster. Remove all the screws and pull the casing off. Inside, you'll see a circuit board. The crystal inside is going to look exactly like the crystal you pulled out of the toaster. The only difference is that it runs on a lower frequency. Most of the crystals just plug into a socket, so you don't even have to use your soldering iron to get it out or to put the new one in. As you can see in our TRC-207, it is plugged into a socket right next to the transmit button. So all you need to do is pull this one out. and plug your new crystal in. The polarity does not make a difference on this, so it doesn't matter which way you plug it in. After that's done, reassemble your CB radio, and you're ready to start having fun. After you've modified your CB radio, you obviously won't be able to talk on CB channels anymore. CB channels run in the 27 megahertz range. By replacing the crystal inside of your CB radio, you've actually tripled the range that your CB is capable of receiving and transmitting on. And it just so happens that 6.5536 MHz gives it the range it needs to be able to listen and talk to drive through frequencies. Once you find the Western drive through that you'd like to transmit on, sit nearby until a car approaches the drive through then start flipping through channels until you hear them talking. Once you've figured out which channel they're on, it's as easy as pressing the transmit key and saying anything you want to them. Since your CB radio is several times more powerful than the employee's headsets, the customer should only be able to hear you while you're transmitting, and not the employee inside. Can we take your owner? Hey, can I get a number four with no onions? No, you can't because you smell funny. Come on, would you shut my penis, you son of a bitch? And that's how you do it. If you're lucky enough to have a CB radio in your house, you can complete this project for pretty much no money at all. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to visit www.phonelosers.org. Or come see us in this video with an audio recording of a lady who talked to us at a drive-thru several years ago. I'm sorry, ma'am. We have some uh, plan on our headset. So unfortunately, I can't finish your order. I was thinking that you would spell it to both of us. Please, ma'am. Thank you. Ma'am, she'll finish your order when you get to the window, okay? Can you hear me? Ma'am, we just pull up to the fucking window so we can take your goddamn order. Can I have your manager? Yeah, come up to the window and you can talk to her. Somebody has one of our headsets and they're playing a the game. We had three customers drive off. That's not us. Yeah, he just posted. He just posted. for this.
and they were mad. Uh, one of the tricks we did is after this video went up is that a bunch of us, some of these uh, fun losers who are in this crowd tonight too, we went onto uh, the main website, YouTube, dig everything, and pretended that this actually did work and like faked photo evidence and showed it and did examples. So many people did this and they got mad. We got tons and tons of hate mail and even death threats, even audio death threats, I believe. And you can all see this at our website and laugh your asses off more. Back to you guys. And if you want to help us out, uh, find this video on YouTube and leave a comment on about how well it worked for you. Yeah. <laughs> it's not our fault that people can't follow directions properly. I mean, everybody who uh, says it doesn't work, you know, obviously did not pay any attention to uh, how it's done. But if, if you don't want to get a crystal out of your toaster, um, Bernie S. I think can sell you one. And you'll, <laughs> and you'll get great toast, too. Yeah. Okay. So, um, if you switch it, let's switch it. Switch ad. Okay, play the switch. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, we're right. scheming. For those of you who remember these ads, we'll play this really quick, and because it's terribly clever. Terribly clever. Let's have a rap beige boxing in the middle of the night in this guy's backyard, calling up sex lines, psychic lines, setting up conferences. All of a sudden, the porch light comes on, and this guy comes out of the porch. We're like, oh no, we're screwed. It was kind of a bummer. Then my friend gets into his backpack and pulls out this old stack of PLA issues. We thumb through a few of them and find the one on beige boxing and it told us exactly what to do to get out of our predicament. We unplugged the phone and busted ass out of there. If it hadn't been for the text we downloaded at phonelizers.org, we'd probably be in jail right now. My name is Michael Peterson, and I'm a phone freak. I know it may seem like we're kind of wrapping this up early, but, uh, you know, Agent Steele is on after us, and I'm seeing a pretty big... Uh, a pretty big gathering for them, for them out there. Those people are for us. Oh, those people are for us? <laughs> yeah, I've, I've been notified. <laughs> Thanks, well, they're, guys. They're freaking late. Yeah. Actually, we're, so, uh, we're, we're just actually really intimidated by Agent Steele. We don't want to yeah. go home from the con and find our houses gone. Yeah. So, uh, you know. <laughs> or have a second level attached to them. <laughs> so, so, I mean, so that happened to me once. Time. But um, we, will be, we will be up on the mezzanine later. Um, we're probably going straight there from here. We have our lovely Phone Losers of America t-shirts, and we'll be, we'll be giving them away for we correct answers to... We have 50 of these things. We'll be giving them away for answers to trivia questions. And we will also have some DVDs and stuff uh, to give you, some freebies. And um, I think we're actually doing a book signing where we sign other people's books. So... <laughs> You. <laughs> we'll also sign your CD. We'll even sign Levy's name, name on it if you like. But only on the data side. Just tell us how to spell it. <laughs> Fuck it, you guys can have some now. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fucking Rosie O'Donnell and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some CDs. We're like Oprah. Look under your chairs. Look under your chairs if you've got an exfoliating kit. <laughs> exfoliating kits. <laughs> <laughs> These are all signed very well, mostly by our guests. Good catch, buddy. You got pwned. Oh. 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 Nice one. You got owned, owned, owned. They said they weren't going to tear the hotel down, but I think we're going to cause that. Oh, by the way, you guys are lucky because PLA and Anonymous are in the same building, and nothing good's going to come of this. <laughs> Nothing good. I guarantee something, someone, or some appendage is going to be on fire by tonight. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, so a quick... Uh, <laughs> what we lack in content, we make up for with free shit. We'll just do a quick... Uh, <laughs> who do you love? <laughs> this is the only one. Wash it with something red. Uh, 20 points! <laughs> So a quick wrap-up. Right, uh, 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 if you're interested, you guys got to kind of bum-rush the stage for these because I'm not going to throw them. <laughs> uh, PLA CDs. Yeah. Oh, here we go. I got stickers. Stickers. Grab some and hand it to the people behind you because so, that works so well at the Fifth Hope. Stickers. <laughs> Who wants some goddamn stickers, people? Stickers. 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 Who wants to get laid to me? Rob, but they don't know us, Dad. Most of these are blank. Yeah, you guys, you guys ditch Nick Nick for us, you know. Sorry, bro. Uh -huh. I know you're awesome, man. Thanks, man.
Thanks, bro. I'm glad you guys came out. Thank you for coming out. What's this? Oh, yeah, here. Don't forget, orgy after the show.